What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about slanted walls and how to place windows on those slanted walls. Now this is one of those annoying Revit problems is when you have a slanted wall and when you place a regular window on that wall it stays straight so it makes this weird opening in, in, in the wall and it all looks completely wrong. So I'm going to be showing you how to create a correct window uh, for a slanted wall and if you don't know how to create a slanted wall we're going to be doing that as well well. So that's going to be the topic of today's tutorial and now before I get into that if you want to get uh, my Revit project files like this special window for sloped walls that I'm going to be creating as well as all of my other Revit project files I've got over 300 files so far check out my Patreon first link in the description. There I also have some advanced courses I've got over 45 hours of content where I take uh, a bit of extra time I take like one hour per each course just to go in depth into some of the Revit's advanced topics and basically show you everything that you need to know about that. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get straight into the tutorial. Here we are in Revit and the first thing that we're going to be doing is just creating a new project. So I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this one. And the first thing that we need to do is to create that slanted wall on which our windows will go. So to do something like that, what we need to do is go here to massing and site here. I'm just going to click first show mass just so we can see what we're creating and then go into in place mass. Uh, let's call this one slanted wall. Hit OK, there we go. Now I'm just going to flip to 3D just because it's a bit easier to work and it's not going to be that complex geometry so I can just stay uh, in 3D all time. So here I'm just going to do a simple rectangle on the uh, level one floor plan. So something just like that. And then I'm just going to go into create form and there we go, we have a box. Now once I have this box, which is around four meters high, that's okay. I'm just going to select this one line and then pull it in a bit. And there we go, we have a slanted surface for our a slanted wall. But let's make it even more slanted like so. There we go. Okay, so once we have uh, this done, I can go here into finish mass and there we go. Now go into architecture, go to wall, and then here uh, on the draw panel, we have the option to pick uh, faces. So we can just pick this face and let's just use the generic 200 millimeter wall or maybe the 300 millimeter one select the face and there we go, we have that slanted wall. Uh, now in case you don't want to see your mass anymore, you can just go to massing and site and then turn off the visibility for massing. Okay, it's still visible. I guess we have to go here in the visibility graphics as well. Scroll down, let's find massing. Mass turn that off, hit apply, okay, and there we go, we have just a wall. Now if we were to place a regular window on this wall, so just go to architecture, go to window, or use the WN shortcut, let's do the largest one and place it here, it's going to look like this, and uh, that's completely silly, you don't want a window that looks like this, you're going to fall out, that's the first problem, and the second problem is it looks completely wrong. So how do we create a window that, uh, well, doesn't look like this. Well, for that we have to create a new family and this family is not going to start off as a window template family. So that's the uh, most important part of this tutorial. So go here to file, uh, go to new, then we go to family. And instead of going straight to the metric window family, instead I'm going to go with the generic face based family. Hit open. Now I still want the category to be windows. So what I'm going to do now before we model anything, I'm just going to go here to the uh, family category and parameters button, open that menu up. And here currently it's set to generic models just because this is a generic phase based model. And I want to switch this from generic into windows and I can do that quite easily. And here we have the option to cut void when loaded. Make sure to check that. And there we go. Okay, let's see. Yeah, make sure to, to check that void. And that's pretty much the only thing that I want to check here. Hit OK, and there we go. Now, if we go to the properties, you're going to notice that here it says family windows, and that's exactly what you want to have. Okay, so now let's do a simple parametric window that will be available on my Patreon, as I said, to download and use in your projects. So first go to reference planes, RP is the shortcut. Let's do a couple of vertical reference planes like this. Then let's do a couple of horizontal ones. 
there we go. The next thing that we need to do is do some dimensions. So let's go here into dimension. You can find here as well. The I is the shortcut. First, you go like this and you make a you dimension everything, and then you hit EQ to equalize these distances. Then you make one, oops, one large width dimension, and then same thing here for the height. So equalize, and then do the height dimension. And now to turn these dimensions into parameters, what we need to do is select the bottom dimension first, go here to label, di uh, label dimension, select create parameter, and then here this will be width. There we go, make sure it's a type parameter, click OK, there we go. Next, select this one, go to the same create parameter option, let's call this one height type parameter, click OK, there we go. Uh, now just make sure to flex it a little bit just to see does that look OK. So let's go 1400 here, I don't know, 900 here, hit apply, there we go, everything works perfectly. The next step is to create an opening inside of this wall, so for that we need to create a void. So for a void what you need to do is you need to go here to the create uh, tab, uh, to the form panel, go to void forms and let's choose an extrusion. Uh, I'm just going to use a simple rectangle, go to the corner and go to the other corner and we get these little lock signs and just make sure to lock it on all sides so it will flex along with these uh, reference planes. Hit finish, there we go. Uh, next I'm going to go to one of the elevations, let's go into the left elevation. There we go. Now the problem is this void is going up, so I want to lock this part here down and lock this to the bottom. Now if that doesn't work, you can always extend it just a, a bit further, just like that, if it doesn't want to lock to the bottom. So we can extend it, I don't know, minus, let's go minus 500. I think that will cover most, uh, most walls. Okay, go back into 3D now, and then let's go to Cut Geometry, select our uh, our host, and then select our void, and there we go, we have our opening. Now we can just go back into our reference level, hit Escape a couple of times, of course. Uh, next, we need to create our window, so for the window, what I'm just going to do is go here into Create, create an extrusion just for some sort of a window frame, so I'm just going to go like this. Again, lock it on all sides. Next, I'm going to do the same thing with the offset, and let's do a six centimeter offset. That's 60 millimeters, yeah. Just go to the other side and just use the space key to flip it to the other side. Click here, there we go. Next, I'm just going to go here and do some dimensions. So you dimension from the reference plane down to the little line, the pink line, and you lock it in place. And you basically do this thing everywhere. So do it here, lock it in place, do it here, lock it in place, and always make sure to dimension the reference plane first and then the pink line. And lock it in place, of course. Hit escape a couple of times, and there we go. Now I can just hit finish, go back into our left uh, elevation, and then here let's switch this to minus 300. And actually, I'm just going to turn this into a parameter. So go here to associate family parameter, and then you can create a new parameter, and this will be wall thickness. Hit enter, there we go, hit OK. So you will basically be able to change this parameter in case the wall is a bit thicker or thinner or whatever. So anyways, we have this parameter in place. Let's go back into 3D. There we go. We have the window frame. Now let's maybe turn on 10 lines to see this thing better. Now I'm just going to select the window frame and go here for material, go into edit and let's add some wood material for this. So just type in wood. Let's see, let's load in birch wood because that's what I use for everything. And there we go. Okay, let's go back into our floor plan and let's go now into create, extrusion again, and a rectangle again. Now I'm just going to do it on the inside and then just uh, lock all of these in place. Now one more, one thing to keep in mind is just because we've already locked this inner rectangle when we were creating a uh, our frame, just because we've locked everything in place, we, uh, we can just lock this to that frame and then everything will, should move along accordingly. Now just hit finish, and then let's let's actually do a section through this, just like that, just to make sure that everything looks correct. Uh, 
So now select this, this should be your glass. So the extrusion end should be, I don't know, like minus 50 and the extrusion start maybe minus 40. And there we go, we have glass that's located over here. And of course, make sure to change the material for a glass. So just go here to material, go into edit, type in glass, hit enter. There we go, use that glass material, go back into 3D and maybe go into realistic. And there we go, looks pretty good if you ask me. Anyways, once we have this uh, window created, we can go back here, we can maybe create some types if necessary. Let's just call this one, I don't know, the 1400 by 900 millimeter. Enter. There we go. We have one type. You can, of course, create multiple types. You can download the family on my Patreon. First link in the description, and then you can play around. Okay, once we have created this whole thing, let's save it. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Let's call this one phase based window. And then I'm just going to hit save. There we go. Okay, now let's load it into the project. So always first save your family and then load it into the project. I cannot stress this, this uh, stress that more. Okay, let's go here, load into project. Let's head into 3D. And there we go. We have our window and it's slanted and it looks perfect and it's just how it's supposed to be. So there we go. That's how you create these windows for your, uh, well, for your slanted walls. Well, thank you for watching. If you want to download the family, again, as I said, first link in the description takes you to my Patreon. You can find it there. Also, uh, you can find all of my advanced courses there. I've got over 40 hours of content. So if you're interested, check it out. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.